Okay guys, I wanted to try out my new uh, camera sunglasses here. And uh, I got these for actually being able to record some of my planes during flight. And thought I'd try these out, but I wanted to make a quick video of something I've been working on. I did earlier. This is my uh, launcher, my bungee launcher from my X-8 and other aircraft, but I built it specifically for the X-8. Uh, all out of aluminum here and my bungees. I've actually got two bungees on here, so I'm just going to do this with two of the bungees on it and see how it is, but I'll show you how easy this thing is to set up here. Two four foot sections of aluminum here. Remove the safety pin here. These are actually spring loaded with safety pins in them here, which are just basically bolts. But I can just fold right back and store, and the handle comes off here as well. Basically, took a piece of aluminum tube, just kind of squared it off at the end here to fit inside the aluminum tubing. It goes in there. Basically let those go and it's down. Put my safety pins in here. This helps locks the legs here. Got this idea from another member on RC groups that did this. It was actually I thought it was a really swift idea. So these bungees right here are to kind of help keep the shock force off of the end down here. You'll see when I launch it. Basically this just stands up. I actually got it upside down here. Put my cross member across here. Just put this on wing nuts here. This cross member kind of helps stiffen up the front legs a little bit. Doesn't necessarily need it. It was just an added thing. Another idea I saw somebody else had done. Thought it was a good idea. It's nothing more than a actually a shelf rack. Pop those off. The carrier. Carriers just on bearings here. Regular skateboard bearings. And it just slides on. Locks into place. Locks go on here like so. These are much stronger locks than the original one I was using. Safety bungees. I'm just going to put. Well, I'll put both on both of them on it for now. I have extra rubber bands so I can increase the. Uh, portion. This is actually some spear tube, tubing used for spear tube. Safety pin in it right there. And these bungees right here 
kind of help it keep it from slamming way down there at the end. So basically, that's what it looks like when it's all set up and launched and the plane just sets in the cradle. So, I reach down here, pull out that safety cord, basically set your airplane in there. It'll actually clear a 17-inch prop, so mine's only a 13, sometimes a 14. Press on the lever, and let it go. Now then, that's with weak tension on it right now, and both bungees on it. Now then, if I remove one of them, and I'll actually bring this thing back and lock it back down, locked again that's with two of the bungees on it and just one return bungee should go cool closer to the end just about the right tension to launch it about 34 kg of force on there that I've got onto it I'll bring it back here again and we'll actually add the other bungees to it One on one side. One on the other side there. I go ahead here and put my safety pin back in it. Stretch the bungee out here. There's the next bungee. And there's the other bungee. I'm going to put the secondary safety line back up on here again to see if so I've got a little more force. Reach down here and pull the safety pin once again. Whoops. Actually, I had one of my little rubber caps come off. These are just little rubber caps I put over the bolts, helping keep them scratched up by them. Perfect. Absolutely perfect on there. So, I used these bungees I found at Home Depot, which were actually worked out really nice because I can adjust their tension, which is something I really liked. So I can use one, two, so I can kind of control the amount of tension on here by using one or two and tightening them up one way or the other depending on what kind of load I want to put on the actual cradle and that's actually going to be based off of the weight that I'll be launching my X8 aircraft is a little heavier than some of the other ones the guys have been doing because I'm carrying two ready-made RC 8000 milliamp 4 cell packs which is a 1.6 amp hour so based off of what I've got there, I'm expecting to get well over an hour's worth of flight time on there, even though I've got some pretty nice heavy-duty cameras in there. I've got a Boss Cam HD, another secondary camera, and a third camera pointed afterwards, all being powered off of a regulator so that I can down the voltage to 11.5 volts is where I'm running it because they're 12-volt camera setups. And... Uh, and the DVR that's actually included so that sucks a little power right there so that way I've got ample power on my airplane to without worrying about loss on it so I can not worrying about a timer though I'll probably never fly it that long I'm not stretched out for long range even though I've got enough power to fly some long range but basically this is my uh, iView camera glasses that I got so I'm just using this launcher as the demo to see how well this thing actually records which is 720 HP I've done a couple of ones and so far I'm pretty impressed but that's my launcher this was actually made by Brett designed by Brett on RC groups and he did an outstanding job and deserves all the credit for this very simple and easy to make design I've got about hundred and fifty dollars into my launcher but it really doesn't cost that much I've, after I ordered the aluminum tubing extra parts and pieces I needed for the bearings which were nineteen dollars online the tubing all the aluminum, aluminum tubing that I bought and sheet plate I had pre-cut for me 
and just sitting here all I had to do was bend this big piece right here which was real easy I just bent it in my lap and the angle arms up on top some of this is even available at Home Depot two inch by one eighth th thick four foot pieces of aluminum tubing uh, one inch square by one actually I think it's one sixteenth thick square tubing makes the legs and the other piece of aluminum tubing that's running down inside here underneath what you see is this checkerboard right here at the middle is actually the trigger pin it's actually bolted in up there with flush mounted screws comes down here I and I actually have a spring to help reinforce keep it up you can kind of see in there right inside there but that tubing goes all the way down to the middle section there and is spring loaded by itself with the screw all the way through it that I've rounded off and smoothed off is actually the locking pin. This is a piece of one inch just round tubing that I put a oh, I think it's a half inch or three quarter inch PVC T-square on the end of it. Just wrap some duct tape around it to build it up so it fit up on there which is really nice. Gives me a more solid foot lever. These are just some rubber caps that were left over from different parts from work and stuff like that and I use them to protect different things and make lens covers and carburetor covers for my gas engines and stuff like that they work out perfect but the X8 will sit right down in here like so and launch it but anyway there she is I'll load her up one more time yeah she's got a lot more tension on her now There it is, and one reason for a safety pin. I could feel that just bringing it back. Normally wouldn't do that, but disengage the bungees and bring them back one at a time. But with that said, we'll do it one more time. And let everybody see it, see if I can kind of step back from it here. And there's the launch. Pretty powerful, it actually hit the end of my legs up here at the front. May have to work on that a little bit. And that's the amount of impact for it. That's why I had these two rubber bumpers up here, but I may end up having to put a pair of safety pins right here to help prevent that from getting knocked around. Because that's some pretty good force. Even though it won't be traveling that fast once the airplane's on it. Like I said, my X8 is going to be somewhere right about 4 kilograms, I believe. I think most everybody's is coming out between 3.5. 3.7, 3.2, 3.7, somewhere right in there in kgs. But mine's a little heavier because of the bigger batteries. When I put a pair of 5,000s in it, two 5,004 cells, it falls within that weight range. And the loaded load power on here I've got is anywhere from 3.2 kg to about 4. Point, or 40, or excuse me. 39 kilograms to about 45 kilograms of force on there, so that's quite a considerable bit. And then I bought extras of this, which is really nice. It won't deteriorate in the sun, even though it looks like I've already pinched one here and got to cut it in, so I'm going to have to replace this one right here, uh, which is fine. Yeah, it looks like I nicked it with my razor. So, but I bought 30 continuous feet of this, which you could buy in continuous feet from a place here in Florida, and I got it in like in two days was outstanding and it'll stretch to six times almost eight times its length uh, it's intended actually for fishing spear guns and it works really really well cost me I think 30 bucks about a buck a foot for that so hope you guys enjoy it wanted to make a new video my other one the camera didn't come out too well had it propped up on the bed of my truck and I know a lot of it got missed but this one is with my other camera and these are actually a pair of glasses that I'm wearing recording in 720 HP from iView I've made several different carriers so that I can actually for different wing configurations and just change out the carrier that whole setup right there I can set up in less than like three minutes and be ready to go fly and bungee launch basically catapult launch my airplanes off I'm actually going to try this with a few of my FMS Warbirds and see how well it works and so forth. I've actually got foam inserts right in here and on the wings, on the area where the wings sit, 
I've put a couple of carbon fiber reinforcements so that the force of that doesn't dig into the wings at all. I know yeah, a friend of mine in Australia, I believe Dan Bid asked about that, said he was having some problems, and I posted a response. But there's a good idea to help real lightly modification to your airplane or just put some duct tape over the rear ends of it there, and it really protects that from digging into your those the EPO wings and foam wings that you're uh, on the airplanes that this thing would be launching. Hope you guys like it. I'll get this up on YouTube. Make some more later. Have a great one and keep your wings in the air and smiles on your face.